Hi, it's Eddie from Pinball LEDs. I just finished doing the Godzilla speakers. Uh, very simple. Um, a little different on this game. We're using the power board on cell on our site. Currently, we use a service port. It's a 10 amp power supply that goes to the bottom of the cabinet and plugs into the bottom of the board. And then right here is the matrix connector. That one's going to the lower cat and is connected to one of the GI lights. Uh, that's what turns on the board um, when the game turns on. Uh, this board has a couple of different features. I don't I didn't add on the there's a board that plugs in on the back here to do uh, special effects lighting for your back box if you want to create something unique and then this one has a Wi-Fi board uh, RGB and what I've done is uh, I got it connected into the speakers both sides and that's it I didn't upgrade the speakers on this one I just wanted to kind of see what it would look like So the code I've put into the uh, controller uh, does this flame pattern. Um, when we open up the coin door, and the GI lights go off, so do the speaker lights. Once I return the power back on, the board turns back on effect starts again. Uh, there's a lot more we can do with this board. Uh, this is just uh, the start. I'll be doing a tutorial on uh, uh, It has currently three 5 volt outputs for your matrix uh, mods and then it has three 12 volt outputs for your matrix mods and then it also has uh, four controllable uh, 12 volt uh, outputs uh, that are triggered by any GI light. But we'll get to that once uh, once I get that part of it set up and we'll do a video on it and uh, then that way everybody can see what the board can do and what you can add to the game without actually wiring anything into your game. So if anything blows, it's, it would be the power board uh, that has a circuit control on it and a 10 amp uh, output as well. So if anything was to happen, the fuse would blow first. Guys, thanks. Have a great day.